this is my first time ever doing something like this where I purchased something from Copart. I've heard good things and bad things about it, but I wanted to go ahead and try it out, uh, get the experience, see if I like it or not. I actually got the car yesterday and we're picking it up today, which is a nice day. I already paid for it and everything. And you do have the option to get it delivered, which I would have done. They didn't have the option to deliver it to my location, so I do have to go ahead and pick it up. They did say it has keys. They are getting it shipped out to a location. I just have to pick them up another day. And then when it comes to the car running, they did say it runs. So I hope everything is good with the car. That's my only real concern. Let's go ahead and head over there. I'll show you guys what the car looks like at the Copart location. And then we'll see what we got to do. All right, guys, so here's the car. Yo, this thing looks freaking good. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's not much done to it. Um, the guy was a smoker because I just checked the inside and there's like a bunch of cigarettes. But this shit is clean. But it looks like it has like a kit on it and stuff. It just has like a rear lip and a front one. Right here. It needs to be repainted and stuff. Right here on the inside you can see. It doesn't look bad. I mean that screen is like all scratched up. I don't know how I got like that. I think there's nothing wrong with it. I believe there is a power steering issue just because there's a power steering bottom like right in the back. Right there you guys can see it. And then it looks like he switched out the seats as well because you have this black part right here. It's like beige right there. Then in the back they're all beige. And the steering wheel of course it's all boofed up right there all messed up. So I'll be doing a few things to this car. Um, I'm really excited about it and let's see how it goes. All right guys, so here is the M45. I wanted to give you guys a quick walk around of how the car looks before I decide to start taking things apart and making more videos on it. The paint is not actually that bad. There's a few like scratches here and there on the bumper. And the paint looks pretty good for the most part. Just needs to be clean, buffed. And the major dent is right here. I'm not sure if I can have somebody just pull this out because the paint's not actually bad it's just that it's like squished in right here like if it got hit right here looks like there's just like some residue or something i don't think this is on the paint itself so i'm sure that can come off and it should look a lot better but for the most part this thing's just like really dirty and stuff and it has these nice wheels on there um, i believe those are oh those are 19 i thought they were 18 so 245 40 19s I'll most likely push those out, repaint them. And then you can see that it has a lip on it as well, right there. It's falling off. I haven't really looked into this car to see like what options it has for like kits and stuff. But I will most likely be keeping this one because it doesn't look that bad. I'll probably just paint like that bottom part of the lip under the lip itself right here. Black, I think it'll look better. But the tail lights look good, they're not cracked or anything. Because from what I've seen so far, there's like not a lot of options to pick from when it comes to like tail lights. Um, if they crack or something, they're pretty expensive or hard to find. That has a spoiler, but of course I want to add like a more aggressive one. And then if you go to the side, everything was good. And then I just have the hood popped open right now. It's not actually broken, but there's a dent right here. Looks like somebody hit them or they hit something and it made a dent right there. And there you can see another lip right there at the bottom. The fitment is actually really good on this lip, it's just falling off. So I'll take that off, repaint it. I was trying to find out what kind of lip that is. If it's like a OEM option, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm pretty positive it is because I didn't really see any lip kits available for the M45 as of right now. There's a grill available that I saw that I might pick up. And the side skirts, I can't really tell if that's OEM or aftermarket. I'm going to have to look into it. <laughs> but the headlights do need to be restored a little bit. They're kind of like foggy. So I'll end up making a video on that, re-clearing them. This side, there's not really too much damage that I can see. I think there's like one spot right here where it got scratched. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. The car actually looks really good. There's not too much that needs to be done to it on the exterior. Just maybe replace the rear bumper because it has that hole right there. 
and then the front one as well I could possibly just fix that because it's not really damaged too much you could just buy a kit to plastic weld it and it should come out pretty brand new now as for the engine that's where I saw quite a few things that we need to work on but here you can see that this is a 4.5 liter V8 engine hence the M45 and then of course the M35 comes with a 3.5 liter same thing found like in a DE 350Z but this one is the V8 version and for the most part the engine looks really good it just looks dusty I didn't see any oil leaks and the same thing with the oil itself it looks pretty good so right there you can see it still has oil so that's kind of like a good sign I guess doesn't look like um, I believe like when cooling gets inside the oil it'll turn a different color so it looks like there isn't any coolant going inside of the engine mm -hmm. but I did see that there is like no power steering mm -hmm. I don't think you guys can really see that but there's nothing at all so I'm pretty positive there's a power steering leak and then the coolant is like water proper cooling in here I believe is like a bluish color greenish bluish color um, you'll be able to see it and it looks like water so I'm not sure if the previous person just had a leak and they put water in there but I'm gonna have to drain out the entire cooling system and refill it see if I find any any leaks but it's been maintaining that but I haven't turned the car on of course so maybe it leaks when I turn it on I'm hoping the engine is good that's something I'm really concerned about right now but from checking the oil dipstick I'm hoping it's good so then we might have a issue with the coolant and also the power steering uh, reservoir as well because it's low now here's another thing that I noticed I'm not sure what happened right here but there's these cuts right here I'm not sure if they try to cut this thing or what happened, but you can see that there's a line right there and there shouldn't be one and then there's duct tape right here. I tried removing this and it looks like they just cut it or, well, I'm not even really sure to be honest with you. I believe you should be able to put like a clamp right there so you can see the clamp like right here and this is just like completely off. So I don't know what happened right there same thing right here there's tape and then the clamps right there so I'm assuming they like cut it or something I'm not sure why they did that but I'm about to get a new intake from what it looks like but first of course I'm gonna try to turn on the car to make sure it actually works before trying to put any aftermarket modifications on it and then after that then we should start putting like intakes and stuff like that whatever we need to replace the small things of course that's really it I already checked under the car um the exhaust is completely stock there is the catalytic converters that go to like the white pipe those are missing and they added resonators so i'm not sure if somebody stole them because that is a thing here around arizona so somebody i think stole their catalytic converters or they just decided to remove them um right here on this section right here it's like right there all right guys so here's the exhaust this is what i was talking about that they welded on there so i'm not sure if somebody just like stole the exhaust or the catalytic converter that goes right here but that's missing right there along with that side and then it goes down to like a white pipe so it still has the stock ones in the back but these have obviously been removed and then that sensor that I was talking about right there uh, this one here I don't think it's supposed to go like that I don't think it would just like stick out and extend it out that far which it shouldn't be sticking out that far from the looks of it so we'll see if we can find an aftermarket white pipe for this car but overall it doesn't look like there's any damage down here just really filthy and dirty from what I can see at least but I really want to do the oil change to see um, if there's anything wrong with the oil itself in the car it does take 5w30 so that's my next plan so we can start it once we get the key for the car pretty sure it's gonna have like a little bit of a different louder sound but for the most part everything else is stock under there I don't see any headers or anything it looks stock from what I can see yeah you can kind of see right there it looks stock has a heat shield and everything so I'm sure they didn't mess with the headers I'm hoping for the best hoping this thing is pretty clean 
and there's not too much work that needs to be done when it comes to the engine um, if there is engine problems and it's something that can be like rebuilt I will do that and try to make this car um, perform a little bit better faster because overall it's in, a good, it's in good condition and if I can rebuild the engine for it to be like brand new then I think that would be the best way to go but this is pretty sick it's my first V8 cylinder car I've had V6 my whole life there's going to be a different platform I don't remember exactly what it goes by I think it's VK 45DE um, don't quote me on that I'm just barely learning about this platform I know a lot about the VHR and HR platform but when it comes to the VK I think it's called I don't know too much about it but those are the biggest things that I can see um, there's this piece right here missing for the intake it's actually in the trunk I did charge the battery a little bit like for like five seconds just to um, get access to the trunk that's how the engine is looking right now I did test the brake and it's working pretty good it's not loose or anything so I don't think there's any issues with that I checked the under character of the car it doesn't look like it's ever been in an accident so that's also really good it's a clean title which is a plus of course and I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this car like what my plans are with it but let's go ahead and check the inside I can't turn it on because I don't have the key right now they're supposed to ship it out um, a few days ago so I should be receiving it within the next week but of course I want to do like a flush and everything on the car making sure that everything is good there's no leaks before trying to turn it on like we like I said earlier the engine oil looks good hasn't been going down I left it out for like a day looks okay I haven't turned it on of course so maybe at least when I turn it on but the inside it does need some work as well like this seat is really really bad if you haven't noticed already the seats are supposed to be like a beige color like the rear and he has swapped out these seats for these black ones I think the black looks better of course this one's really messed up right here and I'm pretty sure the seats are expensive or hard to find for this car um, it's pretty interesting because they have speakers on the top right there and then right here it just has a hole and then the seat that I'm sitting in right now right there this one you can see it's pretty good but like right here it's all broken I'm not exactly sure why or what happened right here but you can tell that they removed like the little switch that goes right here maybe there was something wrong with it and they were trying to fix it and they ended up breaking it overall it's not bad it just needs to be clean detailed really good it does look like it has like navigation it has the maps right here this thing is really big I kind of like how it looks it looks huge the trunk is really dirty so I won't show you guys that for right now but there's a bunch of like stuff thrown in there I can't even open it I have to charge the battery again but there's just a bunch of things thrown in there bags um, a few things left over from the car the intake manifold cover stuff like that just a few things it's a good looking car overall for one thousand dollars which is how much I paid for it it's not bad if I'm being completely honest with you it looks pretty good I really wanted like a big car and this thing's not perfect of course like right there you need to fix that um, if I can find a body kit for it where we can completely dismiss that and just have the body kit painted we might do that depending on how everything goes but we'll see I'm not exactly sure what kind of route I want to go with this car I'm not sure if I want to go with like a stance look or if I want to go with like a racing meaty setup type build but we'll see in the future how the plans go with this car. I'm thinking more like a meaty setup where I have like the wheels stick out with meaty tires with an aggressive exhaust. That's kind of my plans with it. But of course, you guys will stay tuned for the journey if you guys are interested in this car, especially because I don't see a lot of channels um, with this platform. I did find one and I don't remember the name of the YouTube channel, but it seems like he's really knowledgeable and I think he's gonna help me out a lot with this platform. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video right there. Hope you guys like the new car that's gonna be coming to the channel. I'm really excited to get to start working on this thing, figuring out some problems, what's going on with it, and pretty much getting it to a point where I'm really happy with the car, seeing how it looks mechanically, aesthetically. So it's gonna be a really interesting build and I'm really excited for it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.